Good day, students. My name is Mrs. Comfort Omotara. I will be your biology teacher for today. And the topic is treating past questions of biology practical. Treating past questions of biology practical. Learning objectives. At the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify specimens, group the animals to the class which they belong, state observable features possessed by some specimens, make a literal diagram 8 to 10 cm long of tilapia fish. Now, question number one, Roman figure one. Identify specimen A, B, C, D, E, and F. Identify. When you are asked to identify specimen, you are asked to name the specimen. Sometimes they can ask you to identify with reason or without reason. If you are asked to identify with reason, you have to give the reason why you call them, why you name them those names that you have given them. So identify specimen A, B, C, D, and E is just to name the specimen. So looking at those diagrams. Now, answer A is panicum maximum or elephant grass. B, zonoceros viragatus or grass upper or locust. In this case, it could be any of the three provided for you because there are sometimes the examiner will ask the teacher to provide any of these three. They can give option. So it could be sonoceros, viragatus, grass hoppers, or locust, locust. Then C, agama agama or agama lizard or lizard. Agama agama or agama lizard or lizard. Any of the three that you have chosen will be marked for you. D, musca domestica or housefly. Musca domestica or housefly. He, termite. F, spider. Note, of those identification, is it that you have chosen to write? If you are, you, you are able to write the biological name properly, is okay, or you are you can only spell the normal name for them, the English name for them. It's okay. Roman figure 2. Name the class of animals to which E and B and C belong. Name the class of animals to which B and C belong. B, which is the grass or power locust, belongs to class insecta. C, which is lizard, belongs to class reptilia. Note, you have to start... Insecta with capital letter and reptilia with what? Capital letter. Roman figure 3. State the economic importance of D. State the economic importance of D, which is a musca domestica or housefly. The options or the answer. Musca domestica transmits diseases. It causes food contamination. It causes food deterioration. Then Roman figure 4. State three observable features possessed to grasshopper and C lizard. State three observable features possessed by B grasshopper and C lizard. That is specimen B, which is grasshopper, and specimen C, which is lizard. What are the observable features? What the features that those animals possess that you can see that you can observe? The features possessed by the organism or by the specimen that you can observe you can see so for the grasshopper which is specimen b possession of antenna for detecting food compound compound eyes for wider view presence of wings for flight possession of jointed pair of legs for walking and open that is hopping the mandible late mouth part for chewing and cutting then possession of chitinous body cover. Now, for the agama lizard, which is specimen C, the observed features are possession of hard body skin or scales in brackets. Hard body skin or scales to reduce perspiration. Then possession of two pairs of limbs to for walking and moving. Note for the lizard. You cannot write pairs of legs. So they have limbs for walking and moving. Then possession of claws for climbing, climbing 
and uh, gripping. Possession of claws for climbing and gripping. Then lastly, possession of eye for wider vision. Possession of eye for wider vision. We shall be right back. You are welcome back. Construct a food chain using A, B, and C. A is elephant grass. B is grasshopper. And C is lizard. And to construct a food chain, it has to be in the same way. Elephant grass first, followed by grasshopper, then lizard. Note, direction of arrows must correct to score. The direction of arrows must correct to score. You can see where the arrows goes to. Then, another question. State four observable differences between E and F. In this question, you are expected to use their features that you can observe from the two specimens, that is termites and spider. Use those features to state the differences between the two. Now, let's look at it. Termite. Under termite, you can, if you have a question like this, the first thing to do is to tabulate it so that whoever that is marking your examiner can really get what you are trying to say. So it's always better to tabulate your answer. Observable differences like this. Even if it's in similarities, let your answer be in a tabulate form. Now, termite, which is E, the spider. Termite has three body divisions. Spider has two body division. Then, termite has three pairs of legs. Spider has four pairs of legs. If you, you, if you are doing all this one, you can go back to your diagram and observe them very well. Termite and spider, you can see. Then, another one, another differences between them is termite has high, high eyes present absent in the termite, but simple eye present in the spider. Mandibulate mouth part present in termite, no mandibulate mouth part in spider. Smooth abdomen in termite, hardy abdomen in spider. Antenna present in termite, antenna absent in spider. Note, point must correspond to score. Point must correspond to score. Which means when you are mentioning body division for the first one, it has to be body division for the second one also. Now, let's look at for the, the next question, observe the following specimens and classify them into fruit types. Observe the following specimens and classify them into fruit types. What are the specimens? These are just the two diagrams cashew fruit and silsila fruit. Answer H is cashew fruit. And cashew fruit, they say we should classify them into the fruit type, is a nut. Cashew fruit is a nut. When you look at the plant, you can see that it's a nut. Then J is a sipsilla fruit and is a capsule. Is a capsule. Another question. State one agent of dispersal and a reason each for H and J. State one agent of dispersal and a reason each. For age, for age, agent of this weather for age is man. Why? Because the fruit is sweet, edible, fleshy. It's a sweet, edible, fleshy fruit. Then look at J. J can also be dispersed by wind. Agent of this weather of J is wind. Then what are the reasons? Because it's a hairy purpose. 
and very light very purples and very light we shall be right back you are welcome back in the drawing of tilapia fish showing below students should note and always include the following in order to obtain good mark in drawing number one title title but well, is very very important so you can form your title from the uh, question given to you that is diagram or drawing showing the lateral view of tilapia fish Ti diagram or drawing showing the lateral view of tilapia fish and that one will give you one mark another one is size you have been given precise size 8 to 10 centimeter long that is the drawing must not shorter than 8 centimeter and not longer than 10 centimeter that will also give you another one mark another thing that can also make you to obtain mark is clarity of lines lines must be very neat thin and not woolly it means that your lines must very very when you are drawing have a, draw it neatly tiny then it must not be broken or woolly when you are drawing so it will give you one mark another one that can also give you mark is neat label how you label all those the parts or the feature that you can see in the drawing neat label all guidelines must touch what you are labeling so if you are labeling a particular place then let your line touch it and you have to label horizontally that is what they said that all guidelines must touch what you are labeling horizontally and draw the lines using ruler so it, it is advisable for you to draw the guidelines with ruler that one will give you one mark don't say that your line your hands are straight the examiner will see if you use your hand then under details you must at least show the scales touching and facing backwards at least show the scales touching and facing backwards that one will give you one mark then show the operculum in your drawing and you are drawing you show the operculum of the fish tilapia fish in your drawing that one will also give you one mark the labeling what you labeled will be scored that means the features of the drawing that you labeled will also be scored sometimes half mark for each labeling it depends on the examiners now another question name the class of tilapia fish tilapia fish fish is class oyster ictis or pisces oyster ictis or Pisces. Another question state the reasons why they belong to the class. State the reasons why they belong to the class. Because they have scales for protection, they have streamlined shape for swimming in water, they are aquatic organisms, they have fins for movement in water, they have lateral line for detecting danger, they have gills. For gaseous exchange so those are the reasons why we classify them as spices or oyster ictis now evaluation state three observable features of a termite list two characteristics of class oyster ictis an assignment for you make a well labeled diagram six to eight centimeter long view of a house fly make a well labeled diagram six to eight centimeter long view of a house fly so you follow all those um instruction given to you earlier when you are drawing making your drawing for further studies visit https 
ditto double slash dot www.ase.org.uk or www.biology.resources.com Thank you.